Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me and another episode of A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Got my buddy Banjo over here joining me again. And uh, we got of course another box in today. Now this box, as you can see right here, says Hydraulic Claw and uh, well, this is actually one I think Banjo here has kind of been waiting for. He saw this on the site and was wondering when we we're going to get it. It's like the first one I saw. I wanted to do it really bad. Right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this and uh, we'll kind of see what the parts are and uh, get to building. All right, everybody. So here we go. We've got a handful of products here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead with this one right here real quick. And of course, this is the Tinker Zine. And uh, as you can see, there is a uh, forklift on the front. Uh, now, of course, forklifts use hydraulics to, uh, to lift their, the uh, boxes and other objects that they pick up. And of course, that's actually what this is all about, is using hydraulics for, uh, for that arm or the claw. Uh, here, they show a couple other little things in there that use hydraulics, different uh, buckets and things like that, even robots there that use hydraulics. So you can uh, go over this with the kids, show them how hydraulics actually work. Here's an example right here uh, of lifting a car, as well as a few other little maybe projects and stuff that you can try out and everything like that. Just like any of the other Tinker Zines that come with these, uh, does have a wealth of uh, information in there for, uh, for you to learn and uh, kind of be able to do some different things with and get an understanding of what this kit is about. Okay, let's go ahead with this one over here. We'll start off and uh, we've got some of these little like fold out pins. Uh, I see these usually used for, uh, for book reports and things like that. Kind of hold all your papers together with that. So uh, there we've got some of those. Are they called brackets? Okay, that might be what they call them in here. Um, and then we've got uh, here we've got some some regular wooden clothes pins, the old style ones that uh, you use to hang your clothes out on a line with. And uh, there's two of those in there. Uh, we've got what is that? How many are in there? Uh, six. Six syringes. of them. Yeah, six of the syringes. Uh, uh, of course, they don't have any tips on them or anything like that. So. Uh, We'll be using those, of course, I'm sure, as kind of the hydraulic pumps or whatever. Uh, then we've got a handful of zip ties and looks like some stickies in there, some of the foam stickies. We've got uh, the acrylic tubes. The acrylic tubes, okay. So three, three of the acrylic tubes or hoses. And then uh, we've got these pre-painted pieces and these look, I think, yeah, it looks like those are the uh, laser cut uh, laminated wood pieces. And there are quite a few pieces in there. I'm sure those are going to be what's uh, put together to actually make the shape of the claw and everything. Lots of little holes in there and everything like that, which I'm sure these little, uh, with these little clips here are going to be used for. And then of course, we've got the overall blueprint. And uh, here on the, on the outside, you can see maybe what it's supposed to look like as it's built or a general idea of it as well as all of the components that uh, there is inside the box. It also says that uh, you're gonna need a pair of scissors and let's see, it says a glass of water. Uh, and of course, since we're using hydraulics, water is what we're gonna use to uh, do the hydraulics with. Um, we do have a uh, representation here, which looks like we used the box and I had an idea about that, so we kept the box here close by. And then on the inside are all the instructions for how to put everything together. Uh, Banjo and I will go ahead and get started on this. And, uh, you know, we'll be back here in just a moment and show you what we've got. All right, guys, just uh, we're stopping for just a second. We've got the first arm kind of put together here. And uh, as you can see, it's connected here with the uh, syringe onto the arm. And then you have the other syringe over there, which controls the opening and closing. Go ahead, Banjo. There you go, opens up nice and big. Banja's working on another configuration. Now they've got a couple of them on the back here and they don't go over the specific layout of it. So you just kind of got to look at the uh, design of it to see which way you want to do it. Uh, now you've got this overarm claw that would use the, uh, the Tinker Crate box and it kind of creates that uh, sort of that, that claw type thing that you would see on um, 
those things that look similar to a front end loader or something, uh, only they've got the claw that'll reach down and grab maybe like a boulder or something like that. And uh, then it has the multiple uh, syringes at the back there to move it up and down and position it in a few different angles. There's also this extendable arm, which Banjo is working on right there. And uh, of course you've got that down there. So he's been looking at the picture and trying to uh, get that to line up there. And then you can use just one syringe to take it and have it reach out and do the grabbing. All right guys, well, something I did want to note, uh, and this is just a little trick that I kind of figured out here with these is with the syringes, uh, you can see of course the heads here are all round. Um, now, when you're attaching the pieces to the end here, uh, you can, uh, it has it set up so that you use two of the stickies there and you have it kind of standing off so that it gets past the edge of the, um, the round plunger part. But if you take and just nip off the side of it with a pair of scissors, and we were able to do it with just a regular pair, you can take and bridge it down so that it's a little tighter. Um, we noticed on the one, uh, as you can see right here, it's kind of angled out. So we're gonna try and see if we can get in there with the scissors and trim it off so that it's easier. Uh, but see, with it being angled out like that, it, it's not quite as straight. Uh, whereas when we uh, put it flat like that, it keeps it straighter and keeps everything in line a little bit better. Alright guys, so we made a modified version of the various things that are here on the back. Uh, of course, we mentioned that uh, Banjo wanted to do this one right here with the uh, kind of extending arm. Uh, but then he wanted to go ahead and try and build it on the box, so we've used basically all of the pieces here. And uh, it's a little bit, little bit lopsided and odd and everything because it doesn't kind of curve down quite as much as we expected it to. But uh, it does work, as you can see. He's uh, moving it out there, and uh, the only thing is, is we found out these aren't actually um, the wooden pieces. Uh, these are uh, laminated cardboard pieces that we're using here, so they're not quite as strong as the uh, the laminated laser cut wood pieces that some of the product projects come with. So uh, anyhow, Banjo's having a good old time uh, playing with this and, and trying to get it to work in different ways and everything. But uh, you know, this is just a modification. You of course can uh, make the kit how you'd like. Uh, you could do just the arm like that. You could uh, do just the standard, uh, the standard overhanging claw like it has here on the picture. Uh, or, or adjust it as you want. You know, you can make this a little bit shorter and uh, maybe that would change things a little bit. Maybe make the claw have an overbite or something like that so it's a little bit longer out there. <laughs> Alright, so, well, Banjo's gonna go ahead and play around with this a little bit more. And uh, as you can see, because it's the cardboard here, it does make it a little bit hard to keep it uh, in line and keep it from uh, wanting to flex and everything, especially with as long as the arm is out there. And uh, it does put a lot of weight and stress at the back end here with, uh, with it being just the uh, thin pieces of cardboard. Probably adjust it and modify it a little bit, but Banjo's gonna go ahead and uh, you know kind of play with it a little bit and see if you can get uh, something working a little bit better. But uh, this was a pretty interesting build. The hydraulics and everything, Banjo's got some neat ideas on stuff he'd like to kind of do with that. And uh, it's definitely something that, uh, that the kids can, uh, you know, learn some of the engineering and some of the hydraulics processes and, and understanding on how things like this work. I think it's a great project for kids and uh, definitely one that was uh, pretty fun to build. So, okay, well guys, you know, my name's Cougar, this is my buddy Banjo over here, and uh, this has been another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate, <laughs> and he's waving to you there, uh, here on World of Me. Now, if you guys would like to check this out and uh, see any of the line of the uh, from Tinker Crate or all of the other lines that uh, Kiwi Crate has, there will be a link for that down there in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit our social media, which is also down there. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button when you're on your way down or on your way back up. 
and there's also going to be that subscribe button that's down there below the video or there'll be a little icon floating around over here in the corner and uh, you can hit those subscribe if you hit that bell icon and set it up you'll be notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on world of me well that'll do it for us today so i would like to wish you guys a good day and i will see you later bye